Hello Aquarius, I'm Susie from The Gift 202 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 28th of February. So Aquarius, 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 what would you like Aquarius to know about the week of the 28th of February for Aquarius? Angels, Spirit Guides, Universe for Aquarius. Angels, what would you like Aquarius to know about the week of the 28th of February? So you can tell me what's happening for Aquarius. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Angel, spirit, guys, universe, Aquarius, please. What would you like Aquarius to know about the week the 28th of February for Aquarius? Angels, spirit, guides, universe, what would you like Aquarius to know about the week the 28th of February? The week of the 28th of February. Give us the energies for Aquarius, please, for the week of the 28th of February. The week of the 28th of February for Aquarius. What would you like Aquarius to know about the week of the 28th of February? <laughs> Aquarius, I need two more cards, please, for Aquarius. What would you like me to do? What are the energies for this week for Aquarius? Okay. Okay, Aquarius, right. Uh, Knight of Cups, what have we got at the bottom of the deck? We've got the Eight of Cups. You're walking away from something. Walking away from doing too much in love. Um, giving too much of your heart. So we've got the Knight of Cups here. Someone's coming in with an offer of love, a message of love. Um, it could be someone you go out on a date with or you meet out at a celebration with a bunch of women. Um, it could be someone that's uh, married. And you've also got a Knight of Wands here. So there's like this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So it's emotional. It's offering of love. It's like a messages of love. You feel feel like loving and you feel like you want to celebrate okay or this person wants to celebrate with you uh, this knight of wands wants to come in and also celebrate because he's very charming he likes drugs he likes rock and roll and you might want a bit of fun as well um so it's almost like there might be like two people after you aquarius um you're going to have the courage here you're going to fight the ego and have the courage to work out of your heart and get out of this confine and have the, the belief that you need to fight something and it could be the, this drink, drugs and rock and roll or this feeling of this person or this fun. Um, the, you want to get out and travel. You want to pull these yin and yang and have this balance, this swift action or someone's coming towards you in a car could be a leo you've got pisces sagittarius leo cancer so that's water fire fire water <laughs> two don't mix aquarius your air right so you're going off or someone's coming towards you you want this balance it's a, it's a real victory over these nights over these this celebration it's a real victory that you've got here but it causes you to go into meditation go into deep thought be on your own i want to isolate myself i want to go away from this um because it's too toxic it's too manipulative and there's a devil involved and someone's working out where they put where they're going to put their energy and it's like she said i've got this house car everything live, live with me and he says but i've got all this money and i want to go and gamble we need a bigger house we need a bigger this this and other it's like taking a gamble on something where do you invest your energy in love where where are you going to do it um because you feel manipulated by the devil you feel it's toxic you feel it's like you've got victory over this toxicity or you've got victory over this marriage or you've got victory over this um, emotional like offers and and sexy passion and you know it's like I want to meditate I just want to get rid of the last bit of swords that I have even you might even get a migraine for two days um, the devil pops in to say well where, where are you going to put your energy what are you can do how are you can do it I've, I've decided that I'm gonna put my energy into you and at that moment the sun God, your pineal gland might even pop. You see the light. You see the light. And it's like, it's, 
this Leo, it's very Leo. You could be dealing with this Leo, and but it's very fun. It's joy. It's children. It's happiness. It's godlike. You're godlike. It's like the joy, the happiness, the home. Um, this King of Wands is here, and it's like he's not very happy because he can't. He doesn't upside upright. He's passionate. He takes action. You're not taking any action. It's like I've already got my 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 awakening i've already got my gift from god my energy is my heart my energy is the light on the light side i don't deal with the devil i don't dance with the devil i don't take action and i don't take passionate action and this person might be a little pissed off about that because he can't have sexy time upside down the king wants is a little bit depressed because they and then, and then it's like they've lost their job but you, on the other hand, the star, that's your element. It's like all the stuff, the shit is coming out of that box, Pandora's box. And you, the, you're feeling vulnerable. And it's at that point where you see your star, you see... what you were meant to do your north star you feel in your elements aquarius it's a hopeful wish coming true but it's by by having faith traveling children home joy investing in your um spiritual self you swerve that that aries or that um passion to become to have this hopeful wish because that knight, king of wands upside down may as well stay as this knight of wands. They're still not representing as a king. The Leo, the strength, the joy, the strength, the, the strength you have and the victory you get, you, it's just, a, it's a victory over this, maybe a third party situation or the partying or the drug taking or whatever. You're meditating, you're detoxing um, from this, manipulation so that you can decide where you want to put your energy you get an epiphany you get a gift from god you get an enlightenment you are godlike and it's like i'm not taking action i'm aquarius i'm going to sit here i'm going to purge all this stuff out of this box and i know my hopeful wish is coming true i know it and i have to be vulnerable and naked to have it um doesn't mean that naked naked but you need, you need to be without ego okay need to drop it um let's ask the angels spirit guides universe what they'd like it's like i'm already the sun i don't need to be a leader i don't need to be a boss i don't need to be passionate i don't need to be crazy i'm i'm aquarius your artificial intelligence <laughs> it's like no I'm the sun. I don't need the toxic behaviour. I don't need to beg anyone for anything. I invest my energy in my in my spirituality, in my joy, in what makes me happy, in travel, in children, in the home. Um, the sun is gone. And that upsets someone this week. But all you can do is be vulnerable. All you can do is be in your element. It's like trust. You've got to have this trust because I'm singing that. Um, was it Diana Ross? Wishing on a star. Wishing on a star. Angel, spirit guides, rainbows. <laughs> what would you like Aquarius to know about the 20th? Okay, so we've got honeymoon and retreat. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You could be going away with someone. This is this going away. Um, angel, spirit guide, universe, what would you like? There's travel here with that sunshine. What would you like? Aquarius to know. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive love. But there is unrequited love. There's not enough attractional chemistry to keep this relationship going. Mm. 
But that's why this king of wands is upside down. He doesn't feel sexy enough. There's something he's depressed about. Because when the king of wands is not a leader or he's not lost his job, he doesn't feel sexy. So maybe you feel that this person doesn't like you because they're not attracted to you. You need to get away and have a honeymoon. It's, it's, it's saying it's safe for you to love. I, th I feel that the attraction needs to come back. And I think it will if you take a retreat out. Um... Or you just start really honouring yourself and having faith in that that this joy, this travel, this 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 just have faith. Just just have faith. This hope for wishes coming true. Just have faith. Let's ask the angels what they'd like. You've got this victory. You've got travel. You're getting out. You're confined. You're probably feeling not very well, um, and you need to get rid of any toxicity. Any temptation uh, because it's making someone indecisive about where they want to go and where they want to stay. Trust that the sun melts everything down and that someone might be just feeling under the weather and not sexy and don't feel that it's unrequited. If it is unrequited, then um, your hopeful wish is coming out anyway. Once all this stuff's come out of the closet, there's a, there's a hopeful wish at the end of it. Just stay you, angels. Release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms and heart to our love and assistance. You've got God guidance. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like? Aquarius, I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You're a healer like me. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like, Aquarius, to know? You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Angels, one more card for Aquarius, please. Perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. It just feels like there's a lot of healing going on this week. And you're following that light, that light at the end of the tunnel. If you play music, it's a good time. Because you're only missing blowing your own trumpet here. Um, but if someone's not feeling, if they're depressed or there's a fire sign here, this, this leader, this boss who has lost his job, that's why he's not feeling right. So you just stay in your lane, Aquarius. Um, get rid of the toxicity and um, work out where you want to invest your energies. Take care of yourself and speak to you soon. Uh, please like, share and subscribe.